Alright, in earlier video I mentioned that I was going to show you guys how to make an origami alien. You know? This one came out kind of bad, it sort of messed up on the head. You know, it looks kind of awkward. But anyways, that just gives me more excuse to make this video. Now, I'm using green paper, but if you really want to make it look cool and like similar to the one from Alien vs. Predator, you can use black paper kind of don't recommend it because it's hard to see the creases but if you really want to see it um, you should get a bright light like this when you use your black paper it'll reflect and you'll be able to see the creases easier but anyways moving on I'm gonna start with your white side up if you're using color paper now you're gonna do a preliminary base or square base, I don't know what people call them. You know, some people call them differently. This is possibly the fastest way to do it if you want to go for... if you want to be lazy or something. But... I kind of don't recommend it for a beginner, but then again, you probably shouldn't even be doing this if you're a beginner. It's kind of hard to do this model. And you need a lot of patience. The whole model, if you're doing... This is if you're doing it fast, and if you know the whole model. Okay? It, it can take from half an hour to an hour. Okay? So now, you've got this preliminary base. Oh yeah, one thing. Um, I'm going to be switching papers during this tutorial, okay? You know, you'll probably expect it to happen between um, the parts of this. You know? Okay. Now you're going to do a bird base. Now, if you have no idea what a bird base is, I'm going to slap you. Because you're an origamiist. You're supposed to know that. Just messing. Okay, so you fold these in. You unfold them. And you throw them inside, sort of. Fold it in, and you're good. Now you take this, and you do the same thing. You sort of invert it inside. So you get that. And you're going to fold this up. And that's half the bird base. You do the same thing over here now. Now, I do not want to have like 10 parts of this video, so if I start speeding up, then I'll try and follow along, you know. I will be explaining a couple things through this. Oh, yeah, and one more thing if you find something confusing, like certain steps, you tell me what. Um, what time of the video they started and what time it ended and I'll repeat it for you okay now you got this fold one side down now before I continue see this your alien if you look here I use the same size sheet of paper okay and if you look if I fold the arms up and set this down you'll see that from the bottom of your legs to the top of your arms it's this okay so this is roughly how tall your alien will be he'll be it will be slightly shorter because your arms are not going to be sticking up and your head will be shorter of course so estimate like cut off maybe one seventh or maybe an eighth off the top and that's pretty much how tall it will be but anyways, continuing, now you're going to take this, and you're going to be doing inside reverse folds out, 
So I'm just going to do a pre-crease here and a pre-crease here. And let's do this. So inside reverse hold, you push it in and you just sort of reinforce this fold there. Oh shoot. Ran into a problem here. Let me fix it. Okay, I'm good. Okay. Ah, that came out bad. I'm glad I'd be switching papers. Ah, whatever. I'm gonna switch papers anyway. And this one, you do the same thing inside reverse fold. Uh, this is really annoying me there. I should probably fix it real fast. Except it probably won't be exactly real fast. Now it's on. Okay, much better. Sorry about taking that time. Anyways, now you're going to do this. Fold the bottom of the bottom edge here up. If you see that. And you're going to fold it down and you're going to do an inside reverse fold here. Now, stop right here, okay? Now you'll see that it it's like kind of awkward here. You know, it's flat. You can't have that flat, it has to be a point. So you're going to sort of slide it over. Now, you're going to be making a new crease, okay? And I'm going to unfold it just so you can see where the old crease was. There was an old crease right there. Going, if you can see. We went like right here, but the new crease will stop right there and go up to this point here. So just take note of that. No confusion, please. And you'll be doing the same thing over here. Eh, got two minutes left. That's really not good for me. I haven't gone through like half of this. That's not good. I'm suspecting this is going to be a five part video. Maybe a little bit more. But anyways, you've got this. Okay? And now, you're going to fold this over. And to make sure that it's straight, if you see, this edge will sort of continue uh, symbolically to this crease. So if you look, it's straight. And you do the same thing on the other side. And you try and make sure that where this crease ends is where this crease ends. So, got an approximation there. And it's pretty good. Okay, you unfold that, and the next step, you fold this up, so that the point, if you look, there's a crease right here, if you see that, and there's this crease here, wherever the center is, you can't, you can't really see that, you put this point to right there, and you repeat right here, okay, I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to explain this real fast, you repeat this over here, and all of those steps you repeat back here. And you'll be seeing in the next part of the video what that looks like. Okay? You know, I ran out of time. Sorry. So, onward to part two.